Hello guys, welcome to rm24.com YouTube channel, name is Vadim and today as usual I will comment and you will watch the video and today we disassemble Huawei Mate 8. The assembly has a first difficulty or easy rating in our difficulty classification and will be disassembled by detaching the back cover. We proceed to this assembly and first we need to unscrew the two screws at the end and for this we take a Torx T2 screwdriver. The technician didn't know which screwdriver to use and choose the correct one using the selection method. Now we remove the card tray using the ejection tool. The tray is as usual for SIM cards and memory cards. This smartphone is obviously damaged and one inch is slightly bent, which is a good opportunity for us to put the tool into this hole and then carefully go along the edge on the all sides. The phone's core is metal, but the inner part on which it is held is plastic, so you need to be extra careful. The smartphone is not new and you can see how small pieces of plastic fall off. Ok, we opened the back cover and carefully unfolded it to disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector. Remember that until you have not disconnected the battery connector, use only non-metal tools to disconnect any connectors before. There is a fingerprint sensor on the cover. Now we need to unscrew one screw. Take a crosshead screwdriver or a Philips 1.5mm aka hash 3O, unscrew the screw and remove the connectors break it. After that you can disconnect the battery connector with a plastic or non-metal tool. At the bottom we see that the charging port was being repaired before us.
disconnect the cables connectors now we need to unscrew the screw securing the loudspeaker but the speaker cannot be removed at least yet and we need to unscrew more screws securing the subboard Detach the bracket holding the connector. Remove the subboard. We see traces of repair on the micro USB port, possibly unsuccessful. The micro USB port uh, for charging and data transfer, as usual. On the subboard, um, as I understand it, uh, there are two microphones. Remove the loudspeaker assembly and move to the motherboard on which we need to unscrew all screws. Please look at the position of the screws, lay them out in the correct sequence, it will help avoid mistakes during reassembly. We see that the shell protecting the microchips is deformed, possibly due to repair, someone tried to open it or damage to the back cover. Disconnect the main camera connector. We disconnect the connector, but the camera cannot be removed. At least yet, and why we will find out closer to the end. We disconnect the display cable, interboard cable, side buttons, cable connectors. 
but we forgot only about the coaxial cable. We hook the motherboard and now we need to remove the interboard cable. As you can see it is impossible to completely remove the motherboard yet due to the coaxial cable in the connector. Now we can remove the motherboard. So we see that the main camera is integrated into a small board and therefore we couldn't remove it. The hole in the motherboard was a small sided, then we need to remove the camera. The main camera by the way has a resolution of 16 megapixels. We turn over the motherboard and disconnect the front 8 megapixels camera. The battery is 3900 mAh. Unfortunately, we didn't get permission to remove it. Ok, now we're done. Thank you for watching. As always, it was a pleasure to comment on this video for you. And guys, you remember the drill? Watch, like or dislike. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, write your comments and take care of yourself. Hi guys, thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe, share, rate us and see you in the next video.